Have you ever wondered how Jupiter, a gas giant with no solid surface, can have volcanoes? A puzzling question indeed. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, is a world of extremes. Its turbulent, storm-riddled atmosphere and its swirling, colorful clouds are a testament to its active and dynamic nature. Yet the mystery deepens when we turn our gaze to Jupiter's moons. Lying in the planet's formidable shadow, we find Io, a celestial body that is a stark contrast to its parent planet. This moon, despite its small size, holds the title as the most volcanically active body in our solar system. Mysterious plumes of sulfur and other materials erupt from its surface, painting a vivid picture against the backdrop of space. But how can this be? How can a moon of a gas giant exhibit such explosive geological activity? The answers are as intriguing as the questions themselves. So join us as we delve into the fascinating chronicle of Jupiter's volcanic activity. Our journey begins in the late 19th century when astronomers first noticed peculiar features on Io. It was a time of budding curiosity and nascent technology, where the mysteries of the cosmos were just beginning to unfold. Jupiter's moon Io, with its colorful splotches and irregular surface, caught the eye of those early stargazers. Our predecessors peered through their telescopes, squinting into the vast celestial expanse, trying to decipher what those unusual features on Io could mean. Yet their efforts were hampered by the limitations of their time. With rudimentary telescopes and a lack of advanced imaging technology, they struggled to understand what they saw. Despite these challenges, their observations set the stage for a new chapter of astronomical discovery. They ignited a spark of curiosity that would burn for over a century, fueling countless studies and explorations. Little did we know, these were the first glimpses into a volcanic world. When the Voyager spacecraft gave us our first close look at Io the Voyager mission, a remarkable journey orchestrated by NASA, sent two robotic probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, to the outer realms of our solar system. These were no ordinary probes. They were the most ambitious and far-reaching spacecrafts of their time, tasked with the mission of uncovering the mysteries of the giant gas planets and their moons. As Voyager 1 approached Jupiter, it turned its lenses towards Io, the most innermost of Jupiter's Galilean moons. This was a moment of high anticipation, for this was our first intimate encounter with this fascinating celestial object. And what we saw left us astounded. Io, a moon larger than our very own, was not the cold, lifeless satellite we had expected. Instead, it was alive with geologic activity. The Voyager spacecraft captured images of strange, colorful landscapes and towering plumes of smoke, indicating active volcanism. But this was not volcanism as we know it on Earth. Instead, these were sulfur volcanoes, erupting molten sulfur and sulfur dioxide high into Io's thin atmosphere. This discovery was nothing short of revolutionary. For the first time, we had found active volcanoes beyond Earth, a revelation that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. It shattered our understanding of moons as cold, inert bodies and opened up a new frontier in the study of extraterrestrial geology. It was a revelation that posed more questions than it answered. How could a moon so far from the sun generate the heat necessary for volcanic activity? What implications did this have for the possibility of life elsewhere in the solar system? The Voyager mission had not just rewritten the textbooks, it had set the stage for decades of scientific investigation. This was a groundbreaking revelation reshaping our understanding of our solar system. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, who knows what other surprises await us? One thing is certain, our journey of discovery is far from over. The discovery led to a crucial question, what powers these volcanoes? The answer lies in a fascinating process known as tidal heating. 
Despite the cold of space, there's a lot of heat being generated on Io, the most volcanically active body in our solar system. Now imagine squeezing a ball of clay in your hands. It warms up, right? That's essentially what's happening to Io, but on a cosmic scale. Jupiter's immense gravitational pull stretches and squashes Io, creating friction within its interior. This friction generates intense heat, enough to melt rock into magma. Picture this. A celestial tug of war where Io is caught between the gravitational pulls of Jupiter and the other Galilean moons. This constant gravitational tugging causes Io's shape to oscillate, and it's this oscillation that generates so much heat, enough to power the spectacular volcanic activity we see. Thus, we found the engine driving Io's fiery geysers. This is tidal heating, a testament to the incredible forces at play in our universe. In 1995, the Galileo spacecraft took our understanding of Io's volcanoes to the next level. It was a mission of discovery, a journey into the unknown that would change our perception of Jupiter's most active moon. Galileo was equipped with sophisticated instruments capable of capturing high-resolution images and data from Io's tumultuous surface. The spacecraft made several close flybys of Io, allowing for detailed observations of its volcanic activity. The vivid images sent back by Galileo revealed a world in constant flux, shrouded in plumes of sulfur and molten rock. It was a sight to behold a testament to the violent forces at play in our solar system. The Galileo mission discovered over a hundred active volcanoes on Io, many of which were spewing lava hotter than anything found on Earth. These findings challenged our understanding of planetary geology, forcing us to rethink what we thought we knew about volcanic activity. Galileo's study unveiled the true extent of Io's volcanic landscape. The exploration didn't stop there. The New Horizons spacecraft and others continued to unravel Io's volcanic secrets. The year 2006 saw the launch of New Horizons, a spacecraft destined to reach the edges of our solar system. But before it left our planetary neighborhood, it swung by Jupiter and its fascinating moon, Io New Horizons set out to capture the most detailed images of Io's surface yet, and it succeeded. The spacecraft's long-range reconnaissance imager, or LORI, snapped photos that revealed new volcanic features, including previously unidentified hotspots. But that wasn't all. LORI also detected temperature variations that suggested the presence of an underground magma ocean, further supporting the theory of tidal heating. The New Horizons mission was a monumental success, but the exploration of Io didn't end there. Subsequent studies, powered by advancements in telescopic technology and data analysis, continued to peel back the layers of this volcanic moon. Observations from both ground-based telescopes and space probes have contributed to our understanding of Io's volatile nature. In 2018, researchers using the Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii made an exciting discovery. They observed a new volcanic eruption on Io, the most powerful eruption ever recorded on the Moon. This event underscored Io's status as the most volcanically active body in our solar system and provided valuable data for researchers studying extraterrestrial volcanism. These missions and discoveries are part of an ongoing effort to understand Io and its volcanoes. Scientists continue to probe the mysteries of this fiery moon, using data from past missions and planning for future explorations. Every new piece of information brings us closer to understanding the complex interplay of forces that drive Io's volcanic activity. The journey to understand Io is far from over. As we look to the future, we can expect more revelations about this fascinating moon and its fiery secrets. With each mission, we uncover more of Io's fiery secrets. The exploration of Io continues, with each new discovery taking us one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of this volcanic wonder. 
Now let's catch up with the most recent discoveries about Jupiter's volcanic activity. In the past few years, there have been some fascinating revelations. Scientists have found that Io, Jupiter's moon, is the most volcanically active body in our solar system. Using the most sophisticated telescopes and satellite imagery, they've detected more than 400 active volcanoes on this fiery moon. Each one erupts with such powerful force that they can spew plumes of sulfur and sulfur dioxide up to 300 miles into the sky. The latest models suggest that these extraordinary volcanic activities are driven by the intense gravitational pull of Jupiter, leading to a process known as tidal heating. Moreover, new theories propose that a subsurface magma ocean could be responsible for the high heat flow and extreme volcanic activity on Io. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos, our understanding of these celestial phenomena becomes more nuanced. The story of Jupiter's volcanoes continues to evolve. We've embarked on a fascinating journey from the early observations of the volcanic enigma of Jupiter to the detailed studies by Galileo, Voyager revelations, and the latest findings. We've discovered that Jupiter's moon, Io, is the most volcanically active body in our solar system, a revelation that has reshaped our understanding of celestial bodies. As we continue to explore the cosmos, who knows what other volcanic wonders we might find.